Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I just wanted to come on and share with you today a very special purchase that I made and why actually I asked her to make this for me. So um, most of you that have been with me for a while know that uh, I drastically changed my life about four years ago and moved from everything I knew in Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Maine, and that's where I've been ever since. And that started for me a much needed and long healing journey for myself. I mean, we all have things that we go through in life and we all have ways of dealing with them. And the way that I dealt with it was <laughs> to ignore it and to push it down and to uh, eat it and you know take pills for it and all of the things and so since I've been in Maine I haven't used any of my original uh, coping mechanisms <laughs> that I had set in place that were just slowly destroying me anyway and so it has been intense it definitely has been intense I've changed um, my health um, drastically. I mean, I am, by the time I left Georgia, I wasn't spending much time out of the bed and off of my heating pad um, due to a disc disease in my back and um, rheumatoid arthritis. And I also had um, some depression and anxiety problems. And, you know, now I'm, I don't have any pain. You know, I've, I've changed my life and I've dealt with that and it's been amazing and I'm very thankful. And I'm, you know, uh, for me, I'm no longer having to take medicine for my anxiety uh, or depression. So it's been incredible. But I still have some deep um, inner healing work that needs to happen uh, for my emotional health. And as fall you know, arrives and work slows down for me a little bit. It's going to be a wonderful time for me to slow down through the fall and winter and really do some introspection and really do some, do some of the hard work, <laughs> some of the harder work um, that I still have to go. And I am so looking forward to it. And I just wanted it to be, I wanted to make it special because it feels special to me, right? It feels huge. And I, I wanted to have a journal for the process and I asked my dear sweet friend Angie if she would create a journal for me to use and she's amazing and she agreed and I was very thankful uh, because I do love her aesthetic but I still wanted some of uh, you know some pink and shimmer <laughs> in there and she just did an incredible, incredible job. So she always puts like a dust cover over her journals, which I think is amazing. And I don't know if you can see, look at the text in the background. And then, you know, the way that she distresses the things. I mean, I am in, absolutely in love with this bag. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And I love her brush lettering. I mean, I love it when she's, I have all the tags she's ever sent me with my name on them or that say love on them because I just think they're so beautiful. So inside is the amazing journal. And I hope that you can see the shimmery bits on here and the texture and the dimension. I mean, and the heart and just all of these details that means so much to me and here is the I wanted you to see it up close so I didn't put my camera up too high but now maybe I'm not getting enough in but then look at this beautiful piece dangling off the side the key says love thanks Angie see the sparkle on this butterfly I mean, the details are incredible. Look at this thing. I'm very excited, and I love it when she does the um, 
removable signatures and that's what I wanted so that I can just continue to use this cover and put what I need to in there and all the things, right? So I love it. I love that she used a vintage bra strap. Okay, can we just talk about that for a minute? I might have sent that to her. I sent her some weird vintagey things. <laughs> that has happened so let me turn it this way so I plan on using this at least a few times a week where I can find some alone time and go to my special place which is my craft room maybe light some candles make my favorite cup of tea and just dive in you know into whatever that means <laughs> So look at all these bits. So I plan on journaling and uh, art journaling and whatever, whatever I need to do, this is gonna be my place to do it. Look at all these details. Now she does do a flip through of this journal on her channel. And I'm gonna leave the link, direct link to that below because I'm just gonna go through it kind of just quickly from, from my personal, you know, use for it. Like, I love that there is these pockets. I plan on putting some journal prompts in here so that, um, because the thing about journaling is sometimes I, I can feel stuck. So I plan on using this little cute little front section here to put a bunch of journaling prompts in so that if I'm drawing a blank at that time, I can just pull, pull from there. And so here are the um, signatures and she's made signature covers for them. So it's like I can add bits and take away bits anytime you know that I want, which I appreciate that feature so much. So here is this, so I can just slip this in and out, but I can keep reusing the cover and the cover. Genius. And just look at all of the texture on this. Now we've been friends, uh, Angie and I have been friends for going on five years, I guess. Is that right, Angie? So she's been there uh, with me as I made the tough choices and came to Maine and all the things that that entailed. <laughs> and Angie, I just want you to know how much I value your friendship and how much this journal means to me and how happy I am that it's going to be part um, of my journey. <laughs> she is definitely talented, but those of you who already know her know that. And if you haven't checked her out, please follow the link below. She's got some amazing things coming up. She, um, besides making the most amazing journals, like look at the sparkle. I cannot wait to dive into this, Angie. She also prints her artwork on things. I just happen to have one right here. This is, and it's big too. It's a beautiful, I use it as my art bag on the go. So when I'm traveling with um, Chuck and we're taking a long ride, I put bits in here to make fabric flowers out of. Little yo-yos. That's what I use mine for. I love it. It's got a great heavy duty zipper too. And it's, I mean, look at that is not flimsy. That is nice, sturdy fabric. It's beautiful. I love it. I also have a pair of leggings with her artwork on it. And next spring, it looks like I'll be rocking some Birkenstocks with some of her artwork too. <laughs> You're amazing, sweetheart. So I just wanted to show you just quickly, like I'll have a link below so you can get a, a better look at this. It's so special to me. I treasure it. And I'm looking forward to working in it and with it. And thank you, my sweet friend, for creating it. I hope you're all doing well. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.